Hi, it's me again, Teacher Angel. So today we will learn how to do one-way analysis of variance using SPSS. Okay, so as we all know, this is a very long and tedious solving, but when we do it using SPSS and later on may pa bonus pa akong Excel, ay um, magugulat ka, ay, ganun lang pala yun. Pero, ayun, pero, yun nga, ang lagi kong sinasabi sa mga students ko, you let the technology do it for you. What you have to work on is the interpretation and how to make meaning out of the numbers that you have solved. Alright. So, I have here a data of a problem which I got from uh, Elementary Statistics A. It's a book by Alan Blumen. It's This problem is found in page 632. 632. Okay. So... Let's say it's a researcher wishes to try three different techniques to lower the blood pressure of individuals diagnosed with high blood pressure. The subjects are randomly assigned to three groups. The first group takes medication. The second group exercises. The third group follows a special diet. After four weeks, the reduction in each person's blood pressure is recorded at alpha 0 0.05 or 5% level of significance test the claim that there is no difference among the means. So the data are shown. So this is the data that you are seeing. It's that, that data. So you have group one, those who underwent med, uh, those who took medication, and then group two are those who took uh who did exercise, and then group four are those who followed a special diet or proper diet maybe. Okay, so we will now solve for the analysis of variance to determine if uh, or to test the claim if there is a difference between the means of the three groups. Okay, so we click analyze and then compare means and then one way ANOVA. Okay, from here, balik ko lang. From here, uh, the dependent list is those in ratio format or yung mga B, BP reduction. Ayan. And then yung factor is yung groupings. Then for contrast, we will not do anything. Click continue. Post hoc, we do this if if um, we see that there is a significant difference between the means of the three groups. Okay? Hahanapin natin. So, we, we have to know nasan yung significance. So, it, it follows another test. So, one uh, one test that we can do is two keys test wherein um, ginagamit ito pag pare-pareho yung number of samples. So, yan, two key. Click continue. Ah, significance level is 0 0.05. Ayan, nandiyan siya. Okay, and then options. Ayan, kinlik, kinlik ko na na. So, descriptive for uh, the mean and other descriptive statistics stuff. And then homogeneity of variance is also, click din natin siya kasi para malaman natin kung ang data ba natin ay uh, follows the assumption of analysis of variance. So, di ba dapat isa sa assumption din is yung homogeneity of variance. Um, ayun. And if in case, if in case hindi, hindi homogeneous yung variance or hindi equal yung variances, we can do Brown and Brown Forsyth or Welch test. Ayan. So, continue. Wala namang gagalawin dyan sa book drop. Wala, wala lang. Okay. So, click OK. So, lalabas yung ating output table. Or, yes, output window. Ayan. So, for the output window, hindi kita, maliit. Hindi lumalaki. Ayan, parang mas malaki pag nakaganto. Right, for the output window, uh, the first table is a table on descriptive. So, ayan, we will see group 1, group 2, group 3, 5 samples for each, and then mean, ito yung mean column, 
yung highest mean is group 1 yung naggamot uh, lowest mean is group 2 yung nag exercise and then group 3 in the middle yung mga nag diet standard deviation uh, to get the variance square mo lang tong standard deviation tapos hindi na masyadong mahalaga yung tong mga iba ito naman second table is the test of homogeneity of variance ito nga uh, titignan mo lang yung significance or yung p value ito yun 0.689 pag uh, this is not significant so ibig sabihin a uh, homogeneous or equal yung variances ng ating data so it follows the assumption of ANOVA. Okay? Pag ito ay significant, ibig sabihin, hindi equal yung variances ng data. So, use another test. Ayun yung kanina yung ito. Pwedeng Welch, Welch of foresight. <laughs> Brown foresight. <laughs> Kaya ANOVA na lang. <laughs> Ayan. So, 0.689. Okay? So, not significant. So, ibig sabihin, homoge homogeneous yung variances or equal yung variances. Okay? So, Levine statistic yung tawag dun sa test. Alright. So, with that, we can now look at the ANOVA table. So, from the ANOVA table, we will see, ito yung sinusolve natin ng matagal, ng madami. Okay, so we will see the sum of squares. Ayan, 160.13, 108.80. Pwede nyo itong screenshot kasi e, i-compare natin siya dun sa Excel mamaya. Makikita nyo na pareho pala. Okay, so 2, 12, 80, 8.7 mean square. Diba, ang ginagawa, dinidivide to. Just we will get this. 104 divided by 12, we will get this. Si SPSS is sinasolve niya mag-isa niya. Galing niya, diba? So, ito rin sa degrees of freedom, sinosolve niya yan, di ba? DF1 is K minus 1, the number of groups minus 1, 3 minus 1, 2. And then, DF2 is N minus K, so N is 15, minus K3, so 15 minus 3, 12, ayan. So, ito DF total, 14. F is when you divide 80 by this, so we'll get 9.168. Okay, uh, sa SPSS, ang ginagamit natin to determine if the values are significant is the p-value or ito, itong sig, sig column. So, 0 0.04, if this is lower than 0 0.05, it means that the value is significant. So, ibig sabihin, it's in the rejection region. So, ibig sabihin, we will reject the null hypothesis. So, which means that at least one of the means is different. So, iba yung isa dun sa means. So, in that case, you can do the post hoc analysis. Hanapin mo nasaan yung difference or to tell, just to add to your, ano, to your analysis, no? Uh, this is optional naman. As some, some research advisors would not suggest. Pero, to make your claim stronger. Diba? Nasaan yung difference? You can tell using the post hoc test. This is the two key test. So, titignan mo nasaan yung sig. Ito lang, sig column. Tignan mo lang. Group 1 versus group 2.03. This is significant, right? It's lower than 0 0.05. So, nandun yung difference. 1 versus 2. Okay? Yung nag, nag medic, medicine tsaka yung nag-exercise. Okay, so 1, 3, hindi naman. This is greater than 0 0.05. So 2, 1. So yun nga, 1 and 2. Okay, so ganun. Ganun siya si ano, SPSS po. Next naman is, if we will do it in Excel. This time, I'm sharing with you my, my Excel window for you to see how to do Analysis of variance, one-way analysis of variance using Microsoft Excel. But this time, I have to turn off my camera so you will see the Excel environment, the entire Excel environment. So again, uh, I will use the data analysis pack. Again, if this is not in your Excel, all you just have to do is click File, Options, lalabas ito, it's an add-in. So, click Add In, Analysis Tool pa, click OK. Magkakaroon na ito. Okay po. So, tuloy natin. Click Data Analysis, ANOVA Single Factor. And then, your out input range is this three groups. 
uh, if you can see, the difference here is that nahapre column siya. Yung kanina sa SPSS, yung isang column dun is yung groupings, yung isang column dun is yung values. Dito nahapre column siya. So, uh, eto tas yung output range, pwede mong, pag okay na to sa input range, si output range naman. Dito, pwede na dito yung output natin. And then, ayan, 0 0.05 lang make sure. Ito, kung hindi mo naman hinighlight yung ABC, so wag na to, hindi na to kasali. Click OK. So, ayan na siya. ANOVA single factor. Kasi ito, or one-way ANOVA yung tawag. So, ito yung sum, ito yung average, Ito yung variance. So, dito variance yung ipinapakita ni, ni Excel si SPSS um, standard deviation. Pero to solve for the variance, you square the standard deviation. To solve, for, to solve for standard deviation, get the square root of the variance lang. Okay, so madali lang yan. Anyway, so ito na yung ANOVA table. So, yung sum of squares between and within groups. Same values kung naaalala nyo, kung nag-screenshot po kayo kanina. Pero ito try kong ilagay dito sa isang side ng window. Yung, ano, yung values from SPSS for us to compare. Ayan, so degrees of freedom 2 and 12, kung naaalala po ninyo. And then, ito, mean square. Ayan. Divide that, you get F. P-value is 0 0.004 kanina. So, 3.8 is also 0 0.4 if you will round this off. No? Ngayon, ang mas maganda kay Excel, meron siyang critical value. Yung hindi ka na magsus maghahanap sa table, sa F-table, kasi lalabas na siya dyan. So, ito siya, 3.88. And you, as you can see, di ba, ang ginagawa natin, kinocompare natin yung F value, F computed, dun sa F critical. And if the computed F, lies in the rejection region, we reject the null hypothesis. And as we can see, if we will draw the normal curve, this will lie in the rejection region. And dun siya sa right, eh, to the right of the critical value. So, ibig sabihin, uh, we reject the null hypothesis pa rin. And this value is, again, based on the p-value, there is a significant difference. Okay? Where is the difference? Yun lang. We cannot see it here in Excel. Uh, I don't know if some, if some people know how to do post hoc or two-piece test using Excel. Please uh, message me so we can collaborate. And so, ayun po. Uh, same, we got the same value. So, we can therefore conclude that at least one of the means are different. Therefore, we reject the null hypothesis. That's all for today. I hope you share it with your classmates. Bye. Just leave me for somebody else.